Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we're going to learn about how to find the limit of a rational function as x approaches infinity or negative infinity. We'll first talk about what is a rational function. A rational function is a function with a ratio of two polynomials. We'll see this type of function in the form of f of x equals p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomials. Let's see some different types of examples of rational functions. There is a way to find the limit through a series of steps in algebraic manipulations. However, I will show you the easy way by remembering three rules. First things first, before the rules, always look at the largest exponent of the numerator and denominator. Using this info, we'll go on to rule one. If the degree of p of x is less than the degree of q of x, then the limit is always equal to zero. Let's see an example. The limit as x approaches infinity of x over x squared plus one. We'll first look at the largest exponent of the numerator and denominator. 1 is the largest exponent of the numerator and 2 is the largest exponent of the denominator. That means the degree of p of x is less than the degree of q of x. So our limit is equal to 0. Rule 2. If the degree of p of x is equal to the degree of q of x, then the limit is equal to the ratio of the coefficients. Let's see what this means with an example. The limit as x approaches infinity of 3x cubed plus 4x over 4x cubed plus 2. We'll first look at the largest exponent of the numerator and denominator. They happen to both be 3, so that means the limit is going to be equal to the ratio of their coefficients. So we'll take the ratio of their coefficients, which is 3 fourths, and that equals their limit. And finally, rule 3, if the degree of p of x is greater than the degree of q of x, then the limit equals infinity or negative infinity, depending on if the power is even or odd, or if x approaches infinity or negative infinity. Let's see an example. The limit as x approaches infinity of x cubed minus x to the fifth over 1 plus x to the fourth. We'll look at the largest exponent of the numerator and denominator. 5 is the largest exponent of the numerator, and 4 is the largest exponent of the denominator. That means the degree of p of x is greater than the degree of q of x. So we'll go ahead and look at their signs. We have a negative over a positive. This means the limit is negative infinity. If you memorize those three rules, then this should be a piece of cake. However, if you need more practice, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.